Here is Synthax, a time traveler from the year 2500. The year was 2082, and the world was about to witness a devastating event that would change the course of history forever. The most dangerous tornado the world had ever seen was approaching, and there was nothing that could be done to prevent it. In the small town of Oaksville, nestled in the heart of the American Midwest, people went about their daily lives, blissfully unaware of the impending disaster. The community was quaint and tight-knit, with a population of no more than 5,000. Neighbors knew each other by name and would often lend a helping hand when needed. This ordinary town was about to be thrust into the spotlight, becoming the epicenter of an extraordinary and tragic event. As the days and weeks went by, unusual weather patterns began to emerge. Meteorologists from around the globe were baffled, unable to predict what was to come. In Oaksville, people noticed the strange weather, but brushed it off as a fluke, not knowing the magnitude of the situation. One day, while walking through the town square, I overheard a conversation between two elderly gentlemen discussing the peculiar weather. The first man, named Henry, was a retired meteorologist who had spent decades studying the climate. He had an inkling that something was amiss, but couldn't quite put his finger on it. The second man, George, had been a farmer all his life and had seen his fair share of unpredictable weather. The two men deliberated for hours, trying to make sense of the anomalies they were witnessing. As the days turned into weeks, the strange weather continued. Unseasonably warm temperatures, torrential rain, and erratic winds plagued Oaksville and the surrounding areas. The townspeople grew increasingly uneasy, and whispers of an impending catastrophe began to circulate. As the days turned into weeks, the strange weather continued. Unseasonably warm temperatures, torrential rain, and erratic winds plagued Oaksville and the surrounding areas. The townspeople grew increasingly uneasy, and whispers of an impending catastrophe began to circulate. In an effort to understand the bizarre weather patterns, a team of scientists and meteorologists from around the world convened in Oaksville. They set up a temporary research facility, with state-of-the-art equipment designed to study and predict weather phenomena. The town became a hub of scientific activity, as experts worked tirelessly to unravel the mystery of the impending storm. In the meantime, life in Oaksville continued, albeit with a sense of unease. Local businesses tried to maintain a sense of normalcy, even as they prepared for the worst. Families gathered together, discussed emergency plans, and made sure their homes were stocked with necessary supplies. Schools held drills to ensure the safety of their students, and local authorities kept a watchful eye on the ever-changing weather. It was during this time that a young woman named Emily emerged as an unlikely hero. She was a talented computer programmer who had recently returned to Oaksville after completing her studies at a prestigious university. Emily had been monitoring the discussions of the scientific community and began to develop her own theories about the cause of the unusual weather patterns. Working long hours in her makeshift lab, Emily delved deep into meteorological data, searching for a pattern or clue that might help predict the tornado's path. Her tireless dedication did not go unnoticed, and soon the team of experts in Oaksville invited her to collaborate with them. As the days passed, the weather grew increasingly volatile. The winds howled, and the skies darkened, casting an ominous shadow over the town. It was clear that the tornado was fast approaching, and the people of Oaksville braced themselves for the worst. Emily and the team of experts worked around the clock, desperate to find a way to protect the town and its inhabitants. They devised an early warning system, using advanced algorithms to predict the tornado's path with unprecedented accuracy. The system, though still experimental, offered a glimmer of hope to the terrified townspeople. As the days passed, the weather grew increasingly volatile. The winds howled, and the skies darkened, casting an ominous shadow over the town. The people of Oaksville knew that something terrible was brewing, and they couldn't shake the growing sense of dread. With the tornado still looming in the distance, the town's residents tried to maintain their daily routines, despite the unease that gripped them. The local bakery continued to serve freshly baked bread and pastries, while the hardware store stocked up on supplies that might be needed in the aftermath of the storm. The town's doctor, Dr. Matthews, worked tirelessly to ensure that the local hospital was prepared for the inevitable surge of patients. Meanwhile, Emily and the team of experts continued their research, exploring every possible avenue to understand the tornado's unpredictable nature. New discoveries were made daily, shedding light on the atmospheric conditions that contributed to the formation of such a powerful storm. Still, they knew that their time was running out, and they needed to find a solution to protect Oaksville from the impending disaster. 
In an attempt to alleviate some of the tension, the town organized a community gathering, bringing together the people of Oaksville in a show of unity and strength. They shared stories of previous storms and other hardships they had faced, reminding one another that they had always managed to overcome adversity. The gathering served as a reminder of the resilience and camaraderie that defined the small town. At the gathering, a young boy named Tommy caught the attention of Emily and the scientists. Tommy was a bright, inquisitive child who had taken an interest in the research being conducted in Oaksville. He had spent hours at the library, reading up on meteorology and storm patterns, hoping to contribute to the efforts to save his town. Emily, recognizing the potential in Tommy, decided to mentor him, teaching him about the advanced algorithms and data analysis techniques they were using. The young boy's enthusiasm and fresh perspective inspired the team, giving them a renewed sense of purpose and determination. As the days continued to pass, the tornado loomed ever closer, casting a dark cloud over the town. Yet, despite the impending doom, the people of Oaksville remained united, working together to prepare for the storm that threatened to change their lives forever. Emily, Tommy, and the team of experts pressed on with their research, each day uncovering new insights into the tornado's mysterious nature. They worked tirelessly, hoping that their efforts would make a difference and help to protect the town they had come to love. But, as the tornado's arrival neared, tensions within the town began to rise. Some residents, desperate to protect their families and homes, started to question the validity of the research being conducted. They demanded answers and assurances that seemed impossible to provide. In response, Emily and the scientific team decided to hold a town hall meeting, where they would present their findings and address the concerns of the community. The meeting was packed, with townspeople from all walks of life gathering to hear what the experts had to say. The atmosphere in the room was tense, but as Emily and the scientists began to present their research, the mood began to shift. They outlined the progress they had made and detailed the steps they were taking to mitigate the tornado's impact. The townspeople listened intently, their fears and doubts slowly being replaced with a sense of cautious optimism. Though the threat of the tornado still hung over Oaksville, the community found strength in unity, determination, and a shared belief that they would weather the storm together. The days leading up to the tornado's arrival were filled with preparation, collaboration, and hope, as the people of Oaksville stood side by side, ready to face whatever challenges the storm would bring. The day finally arrived when the tornado was expected to reach Oaksville. The sky was a dark, menacing gray, and the air was heavy with electricity. People gathered in their homes, schools, and community shelters, anxiously awaiting the arrival of the storm. Emily, Tommy, and the team of scientists continued their work, making last-minute adjustments to the early warning system and monitoring the tornado's movements. They knew that their efforts would be put to the test, and they were determined to do everything in their power to protect the town. As the tornado drew nearer, the winds began to pick up, and the first drops of rain began to fall. The people of Oaksville huddled together, their hearts pounding with a mixture of fear and anticipation. The town's emergency services were on high alert, ready to respond at a moment's notice. When the tornado finally reached the outskirts of Oaksville, it was more massive and powerful than anyone could have imagined. Its colossal size and intensity were unlike anything ever seen before. The tornado tore through the countryside, uprooting trees and flattening entire fields in its path. As the monstrous storm approached the town, the early warning system that Emily and her team had developed sprang into action. Sirens wailed throughout Oaksville, alerting the residents to seek immediate shelter. The people of Oaksville huddled in basements, storm shelters, and other secure locations, praying for their safety and the safety of their loved ones. Despite the ferocity of the tornado, Emily's early warning system proved to be remarkably effective. It allowed the people of Oaksville enough time to take cover, minimizing the risk of injury and loss of life. The tornado tore through the town, leveling homes, businesses, and public buildings in mere seconds. The once idyllic community was reduced to a chaotic mess of debris and destruction. The people of Oaksville, still reeling from the shock and devastation, emerged from their shelters to survey the damage. Emily, Tommy, and the scientific team emerged from their research facility, relieved to find that they had survived the storm. They quickly set to work, using their expertise to assess the damage and aid in the recovery efforts. In the days that followed, the people of Oaksville banded together to rebuild their shattered community. They worked tirelessly, clearing debris, repairing damaged buildings, and comforting those who had lost everything. 
The spirit of unity and resilience that had defined the town in the days leading up to the tornado shone even brighter in the aftermath of the storm. As the town began to heal, Emily, Tommy, and the team of scientists continued their research, determined to learn from the tragedy that had befallen Oaksville. Their work would go on to contribute significantly to the understanding of tornadoes and the development of new technologies to predict and mitigate their impact. The story of Oaksville, the tornado, and the remarkable people who faced it would become a testament to the power of human resilience and the unbreakable bonds of community. The memory of the tornado would live on, a reminder of the indomitable spirit of the people who had faced the storm and emerged stronger than ever. Until we meet again, farewell.